Hello everybody, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Today we're going to be going into the last round and see what's going on in here because I've been kind of putting it off for a little while. So let's go see what uh, Nines Rodriguez has to say to us and what's going on in here. Don't know how long this dialogue is going to be, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh god, that music's not as bad, but I don't like it either. And not the same, like, security guy we saw earlier. <laughs> uh. Hello. So that chase you in here, Cammy? What the fuck's your problem? What are you talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? Well, you're just straight into the point, aren't you, miss? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for the Croy anyway. Got himself a new errand boy out of it. As long as you're a tool for some cake, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. Okay, I've been more than enough, more than nice enough. What the fuck is your problem? Oh, oh, oh. you want to know what my problem is? Alright, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem! Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. Yeah, well, I'm actually like making my own fate. So you can just kind of screw off for all I care, lady. Ah, uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Is there a point to this, lady, or are you just like hearing yourself yammer on? You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Damn. You're annoying. You the head of the pep squad around here? I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Floyd would have done. Pissed. You don't say. I hadn't noticed. I don't know about LaCroix, but, uh... Hey, Cammy. I don't apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bear getting the CDC's attention, maybe I misjudged you is all I'm saying. Tell me what the plague bearer is. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. I guess that explains why I saw those guys that are dressed up like condoms. You remember those guys I met on the corner a few, a few days ago? Yeah. Oh. So how do you get rid of them? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Well, the Anarchs helped me out before. Where the hell do I start? One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. <laughs> ghouls. Why is it always ghouls? Fine. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Uh, before I go, I got a question. Yeah? You... Oh, crap. Uh... Do you know anything about the Regan? He blamed you for this. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! Well, somebody played D&D. &D. What? Uh... I think you need to learn how to have impulse control bigger than a five-year-old, but I guess I'll just leave now then. Seriously, lady, you need impulse control. You have a problem. Ain't saying a damn thing. You're crazy. Well, 
if it ain't the talk of the town. Poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? <laughs> God. Do I really want to try and play hard ass with this guy? I could. I don't really want to try and piss them all off. Funny. Nines is expecting. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. Did you come up with that all by yourself? You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Isn't the prince the leader of the Camarilla? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix is just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. So, what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Uh... I don't support anarchy, but you do make some good points. Anarch free state, you say. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play the problems with anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Okay, I can understand that. But I'm not really sure an anarchy is the really best way of going about it. I'd rather not try and piss him off. Uh, I don't know if he piss him off if everybody here becomes hostile. I assume probably not, but I don't really want to take the chance. So, you have you tried talking to him? I got their meeting right here. Okay. Um, I think all of you need impulse control training because you are certifiably loony. I'd, <laughs> I would love to say three, but I'd rather not right now. So, I'm going to guess you're not a fan of the prince. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Uh-huh. Eviscerate the proletariat, huh? Yeah. I want to say number two, but I'm not gonna. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later... I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't faded or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Yeah, time don't mean shit. You should realize that if you actually know where the damn what you're doing in life. But okay then, let's see. <laughs> Your group just seems like a bunch of rebel posers and gangbangers. That's true and to me, but I guess I'll try and be diplomatic. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two... Don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Yeah, thanks for your help. I'm gonna get out of this crazy bin now. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Well, well, looky who made it back in one piece. 
Out in Santa Monica, get old. Yeah, I didn't get too much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? You could say that, yeah. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> I have questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? I well, a little. I'd kind of like to know where you came from so I can try and make an educated decision, but all right, fine. What's it about, then? I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Well... Does Nines feel the same way? You bet, kid. How come you're not running the show, Jack? Uh... Yeah, I'm guessing he's in charge there, then. As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain is wired to that shit. Yeah, I noticed as much. You seem to know a lot about the politics yourself, Jackie boy. Me? I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. I don't really care what clan they're in, or anything like that. Moving right along. Oh, my favorite topic. Out of hell with LaCroix. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince, he's a prince. You dealt with princes like him in the past? He's a typical Ventru asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, oh, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. He's just stupid and lucky? I'm not sure those usually happen. Unless you're gonna try and make the argument like the people did last year that Donald Trump was just an idiot billionaire that was a failed billionaire. That didn't make much damn sense either. He's just stupid and lucky? I'm not saying he's stupid. He's just an asshole and he just teeth kicked in, that's all. Okay, you, you have more intelligence than a majority of the American people, then. Okay, then, I like you. So, what do you know about the sheriff? Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. Do you have a problem with the whole Camarilla, or just the leaders? I'm not saying let's go towards the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. Abandoned hotel. Is that was an abandoned hospital, wasn't it? I was gonna say, was that woman Pisha of Malkavian? I think I'm getting things confused now. And so, what about me? Am I part of the problem? Hey, man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young, but there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. Uh, great. Being dead is no excuse for walking around with your eyes closed. I'd rather not stick up for the Camarilla in this joint. That'd be like going into a, the freaking DNC and just start talking about favorite GOP. I don't, of course, I don't like any of those people, but the point is you don't walk into the enemy camp and then start talking good about the other camp. You don't do that. Moving right along. Uh, we haven't really heard much about the Sabbats lately. Are they actually important? Again? Does everything have to be about these dickheads? I hope not. The Sabbat are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. Aren't they anti-Camarilla? Yeah, they oppose the Camarilla, but they suck when it comes to execution. Well, what's wrong with them? The Sabbat are in the same business as the Camarilla. 
Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Okay. I just thought I'd catch up with with this guy. We hadn't talked to him in a while. Dickhead. Lucky I don't kill you where you stand. Okay, so the way I'm pick I'm getting this is it seems like there's going to possibly be like a storyline choice of whether you go with the Anarchist or whether you go with LaCroix or maybe there's even a third like neutral option. Uh, so what should I be doing now? Was it say, damsel, since you want to trail the plague bearer? She suggested going to speak with the ghoul Paul at the Skyline Apartments. Or talking to some of the bums around the city. I guess I can talk to some of the bums around the city then. Hey, here's some. Hey, what do you know? Hey, screw you too. Oh, well, you look like you're plagued. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! Are you human? You don't look human. You don't remember me? I'm your friend from the homeless shelter. Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Well, where's Tin Can Bill? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Thank you. Try not to die tonight. I'm sure you will, but try not to. Okay? So, Tin Can Bill, I'm assuming is that guy over there. Yeah, probably that guy over there. I guess not. <laughs> I thought, well, this is the only, like, alley around here, you know, but probably that one. Maybe he's down here. Did I ever go down this way? I don't think this looks familiar. Oh, there's that. Uh... Yeah, okay, I think I miss chose my alley. To be fair though, that was across the alley from the uh, bar, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go then. She did say across from the bar, right? Not like on the same side as the bar. Well, I can try going this way and see. <laughs> Maybe she meant like back here. I don't know what the hell she meant. Do you think she even knows what the hell she meant? Dude, she's like, I don't know. I don't want to say she's crazy, that's a stereotype, but... Dude, she was a... I don't know if her intel's as fresh as it could be. I guess she's on the street all day, maybe she is. Unless you're gonna... Unless he just waltzed his ass over here when I wasn't looking. No. I... Unless you're gonna sit here and tell me the guy in here that was cowering was this guy. That could be it, I guess. There was a homeless guy in here, wasn't there? Well, I guess not anymore. Fire hurts. I didn't say I forgot the fire was there to be fair, but that should heal at some point. That was stupid. That was absolutely batshit stupid. Okay, so I wonder if that updated my let's see. He can be found in the alley across from the last round. Get that oh, I forgot there's a fence there. That is the last round. Is there another alley, like, right over... No, it's this alley. Has to be this alley, doesn't it? I mean... Can I go anywhere in here? Nope. Are you, Bill? Damn you. Why is nobody Bill? Unless he's in the, the sewers. Which I guess he could be in the sewers. Oh, you're right here, you dick. You're hiding. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm not Fred. Last I heard you tell me why everybody's getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Uh, sure, I'll give it to you suit right after we talk. <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> if 
for medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> of course, what else would it be for? Now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. I'll, I'll, I'll believe you, Bill, don't worry. It was a monster, you see. Monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Was that a Nosferatu he's referring to? Ugly. I'm just saying, I'm sure somebody's gonna say that's clannist, but probably Nosferatu if he's saying they're that ugly. So what happened? He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place. The dark place. <laughs> oh, God. The smell. Worse than anything I... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Bill, I need to know where the monster took you. up through the sewers he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> Bill, now don't die on me now. Is he just hallucinating or did... Uh, he's not dead. Someone's gonna pay for this. No, he died. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. He said just around the corner, so I assume he means... Wait, what? That's not around a corner, that's... Um... The possible home of the Plague Bearer. Okay, well, that will do it for today, everyone. I realize there's, like, no... no action, no nothing. Damn it! I will never remember this. Ah! Damn it! There we go. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Next time we'll probably be going to try and find the Plague Bearer down in the sewers, because you know that sounds like a fun time. And hopefully I shall see you there, everyone. Farewell until then.